guys. Uh, we're gonna cook a little breakfast this morning. It's kind of nasty outside, so we're gonna have. Uh, I'm running, not much going on at work, so I'm gonna cook. It's probably a bad idea. But anyways, we're just gonna make like a breakfast scrambler. Made out, make it out of potatoes, some hot sausage, some onions, and we'll just fry it all up. I'm gonna cut all the potatoes up and the onions. Usually cook the potatoes for a little while first and then put the onions and the sausage in there so they're all done about the same time. So I'm gonna start dicing these up and getting them ready. These particular potatoes you don't have to, we don't uh, peel because the skins are real, real thin. So it's actually great to use for fried potatoes or even a baked potato and they're yellow. They're called yellow. Look how yellow those are. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that, babe. It's just a Pyrex pot, but it used to be my grandparents. And uh, my aunt gave it to me. But uh, I used to drink coffee out of that when I was a little kid. And uh, I'd watch my grandmother make coffee. And I always liked drinking coffee at her house because she let me put as much sugar in there as I wanted to. So... So I like to cook or make coffee in that every once in a while like that. It takes a little longer than the than the uh, regular coffee pot, but I think it actually tastes better because it actually brings it to a boil and it's supposed to kill any kind of, or not kill, but neutralize the acidity of the coffee. So and you can just let it percolate until you get it to the color you want or to the, I guess, strength you want. <laughs> so. It only takes about 15 minutes to do it. Just kind of like an heirloom. I'm just cutting these up and getting them ready so whenever the potatoes are about halfway done, uh, then you can dump these in there with the sausage. Just added some oil to it. Not a lot, just enough to keep it from... Uh, you don't deep fry on it, just keep it from sticking together, I guess. And I'm fixing that, excuse me, add a little salt and pepper to it. So we have a little bit of seasoning. You can always add it later, I guess, but I like to cook it in there. And we're gonna let get it going for a while and then we'll add the onions in a few minutes. <coughs> you wait till those are about halfway cooked. <coughs> How much sausage are you sticking in there? It's about <clears throat> three quarters of a dill, or you, if you're making more, you can do more, but it's almost three quarters of a package. And we use the hot. Let's see if you can Jimmy. see it's the Jimmy Dean. It's the hot. it's the hot one, and uh, I really like it. I've already been trying the coffee. Is it good? What's that? Coffee. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it all mixed up here. Sometimes he puts eggs in it at the very, very end, but I don't care for eggs, so I'll get mine out first. And, uh, and then... We'll top it with some cheese. Have it all mixed together. starting to get soft but I keep stirring it occasionally every five or ten minutes or so because I'm trying to get make sure all that sausage gets done because I'm breaking I got it all broke up and it's all through here so you want to make sure you don't have some sitting on top that's raw but it's just about done it's the potatoes are getting soft the onions are done and the sausage is pretty much done too 
<clears throat> it's pretty much done. Potatoes are soft. I mean, you can cook them a little longer if you want to, uh, however soft you like them. I mean, they're... And the oil, some of the oil's gone. Yeah, yeah, the oil that I use is pretty much cooked into the potatoes and stuff, so... You don't want to add too much oil at one time, otherwise everything will be swimming in it. So you can always add it. I just add a little bit at a time till I get it right. Otherwise you'll be saturated. <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could add a couple eggs or like, I would just crack them open, put them in a bowl and stir them up and dump them in here. And it, maybe move out a, move a little hole like this and dump them right there. Cook them up real good and then stir them in. But I'm not gonna add egg to this this morning. This is one of our favorite things. When we go camping, he makes this a lot. Sprinkle some cheese on top. And it's delicious. Oh yeah. He's always gonna put seasoning. Tony's, Cavenders or something. What are you using today? Uh, nature seasoning. Nature's, yeah. That's it. Got your breakfast scrambler. And it's delicious. Chris has already finished his up. It is so good. If you enjoyed this recipe, look us up on Facebook and Instagram and like and share this recipe and subscribe. Thanks for watching.